Hello students, welcome in the math class. Today we are going to start with the topic sequence and series. Actually, it is not a new topic. You have already done the same topic in the 10th standard but under different heading that is arithmetic progression denoted as AP. First of all, we will discuss the objectives of AP. So let's start. First is to find the particular term when nth term is given. Second, to find an AP when nth term is given. Third, to find particular term using general term formula. Fourth, to find number of terms. Fifth, to find particular term from nth. And sixth one is to find the sum of n terms of an AP. Under heading 6, we are having many sub-objectives that we discuss later on. First of all, we will discuss the difference between the sequence and series. In sequence, terms are written using commas. These numbers follow some pattern. Similarly, in series, terms are again following some pattern and they are written using the sign plus sign minus sign or both sign. For example, sequence 2, 4, 6, 8 and so on. If we want to represent this sequence in series, we will put the sign like this. Minus 2, minus 4, minus 6 and so on. It may be a plus sign that is 2, plus 4, plus 6 and so on. Similarly, other example is there. 10, 20, 30 and so on. Here, Terms in series 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 plus and so on. Now, as we have done AP in the 10th standard, so let's recall the basics of an AP. First of all, AP is represented as A, A plus D, A plus 2D and so on. Where A is the first term, D is a common difference. And second, that is very important property for any series or sequence to be an AP, their common difference should be same. That is, second term minus first term or third term minus second term. It must be same. So, let's start with the very first type. That is, to find particular term when nth term is given. We will explain by taking example, find the ninth term of series whose nth term is 2n minus 1. Here series is not given, only nth term is given and we have to find the ninth term of the series. So, we will start from here. Suppose that the given term is a tn. So, tn is equal to 2n minus 1. For n is equal to 9, we get T9 is equal to 2 into 9 minus 1. That is equal to 18 minus 1. And finally we will get 17. So ninth term of the series is 17. Now similarly there is a second type. That is to find an AP when nth term is given. Same thing is given in both the types. That is the nth term. But here we have to find the AP. For AP means we have to find at least three terms. So again start with the same pattern that is tn is equal to 3n plus 1. First of all for first term put n is equal to 1 we get t1 is equal to 3 into 1 plus 1 is equal to 3 plus 1 that is equal to 4. For second term put n is equal to 2. We get second term is equal to 3 into 2 6 plus 1 is equal to 7. For n is equal to 3, we get t3 is equal to 3 into 3 that is 9 plus 1 is equal to 10. Therefore, AP is 4, 7, 10 and so on. Now, let's take one more example. Find the first 5 terms of the sequence whose nth term is a n is equal to 2 n minus 3 upon 6. We can find as many terms when the nth term of the sequence is given. Again, we will start with the same pattern. 
first of all an is given for first five terms it means we have to put the value of n that is n is equal to 1 2 3 4 and 5 so first of all put n is equal to 1 we get 2 into 1 minus 3 upon 6 on simplifying 2 ones are 2 minus 3 upon 6 so here plus minus minus uh, 1 upon 6. Now next. When you put n is equal to 2, you get the second term that is 2 into 2 minus 3 upon 6. It will become 4 minus 3 upon 6. So answer is 1 by 6. n is equal to 3. We get a3 is equal to 2 into 3 minus 3 upon 6. So it will become 6 minus 3 upon 6. So answer is 3 by 6. You can cancel the terms also. For n is equal to 4, we get a4 is equal to 2 into 4 minus 3 upon 6. That is 8 minus 3 upon 6 equal to 5 upon 6. For n is equal to 5, we get a5 is equal to 2 into 5 minus 3 upon 6. That is 10 minus 3 upon 6 equal to 7 upon 6. Therefore, the sequence is minus 1 upon 6, 1 upon 6, 3 upon 6. 5 upon 6, 7 upon 6 and so on. So students, today we have discussed the two types of an AP. Now you are able to solve sums related to the topic. Before starting the worksheets given in SNAP homework, you must go through the links guided in the SNAP homework. Rest we will continue in the next session. Thank you.